Today is the first day where this bread don't make sense for your life. If you live for abroad, you need to save this video. No only share, I will save it for your phone. It will change your life. The last time when I gave this my boy advice, he will really take my advice. Now, nah, he don't really improve for his sense of reason. Anyway, you get luck. I for deal with you this time. I want you before. Anyway, watch the video and share and to save life. If you are a Nigerian living abroad, don't build a house. Watch the video till the end if you are a I know, and I know is the last comment of a fool. Like the normal tradition of every Nigerian where they are abroad, India, China, uh, Malaysia, and not this one with the Italy. Their normal tradition is as they hustle for abroad, when money they enter their hand, that will send money home. They may their family members, their brothers and sisters, they behave they build us for Nigeria. They after they don't complete their house finish, they buy like two cars. Then when they don't buy two cars finish, then they come from abroad, go settle down for Nigeria. That's the worst mistake, the worst financial mistake if you make for your life. And if you not trace your steps now, wait till happen to others before, go still happen to you. Because people that starting this Nigeria way, they can't settle down now. Not be here your source of income day. Your source of livelihood is not here. And as you are abroad, now that you say they hustle, and the hustle with the hustle, they not be like maybe many of you now. Not, not be say you get company there, not be say you get self-sustaining business there. Which means that normal nine, 9 to 5 job now you they do, and maybe normal monthly or weekly salary now you they collect. Okay, as you they come back to Nigeria now, that your source of income, you don't pause. Which means you are coming home to nothing. Because that house is nothing, that car is nothing. Because the car not going to pay your bills for Nigeria yet, and the house not going to pay your bills for Nigeria yet. So if you are coming home, think it's maybe where the mistake when many of them are they abroad, the mistake when they make this one, they confuse achievements with investments. House and car and achievements, they are not investments. You know that's done. So when you begin get that, when you not feel the fresh between those two things, you go come home, think it's you don't arrive, you go come back to Nigeria, and only time you go take care. Whether your savings when you save, maybe you save like maybe three million, four million, five million, ten million. When you don't save, finish. When you don't shop, I finish. Eh? When you don't shop, I finish. Cause that normal face is that when you take on, you will place family, you will place friends. You try one put this in place. The family members so will be see that they depend on you for all their whole life before. You try one settle them. Give this one, this good, do this good. Before you look at that small money when you save, eh? You don't finish. Then you are left with what? Nothing. No source of income. Nothing. Nothing. You are left with your house and your cars. And those two things now you go spend money to take them, maintain them. Now you go spend money to maintain that house where you build. Now you go spend money to build, uh, to maintain that car. And now you go spend money to fuel that. Then when family members now, they all of them don't put their because they look and see anybody where they are abroad now or dogu now. So as you come like this now, you don't carry that full responsibility for body. Before you look now, slow slow. You don't they downgrade. They go slow slow. You don't they downgrade. They go first now. You don't whip your first car first. Second, you don't whip your second car. This same thing now they tell you now. Many of them would say maybe they wish you bad or I don't know what they are they talk. But this did all happen to my own uncle. You know that's that this guy did UK for how many years? He built us. He has when he built now. As I'm telling you now, he don't tell you uh, when he built the house. So when he take come back from abroad, the guy don't broke the house. Eh, he don't even the leak. Not be seen a play. If you see the structure of the house, you go pity for. You go say now this man will come that time will be say almost everybody because he not plan well because you know no difference between liabilities and assets. Because they confuse house to be an asset to be assets and has some that asset because has a liability. So if you be in Nigeria where they are abroad, what I go advise you be say as you they are abroad, first of all, look if you get the mind say okay, you don't want to be there for, for permanent. Maybe you go out there, go also for uh, stability, then get your normal finances together before you come come Nigeria quite establish. Not send your dime, give any of your sister or your brother, or your relative, may they help you do any business for Nigeria. When you don't save a lot, not build us, not buy car, not do anything. Just come home with your savings. Get better account. Put your money there, then come. When you don't, let's maybe also for three years, four years, five years, then come. When you come to Nigeria, get a business and start running a business while you are living in a rent. And with time, when your business is they, they okay, then you begin to think of building a house. And when you want to build a house, not just start at once and maybe to please everybody. And what did that thing go do for you? That thing go do two things for you. Number one, you go push your family members from your body. Your thing say because say you go abroad, you not build us, you not buy car, you look and see you not carry anything come. So because of that thing now, everybody will laugh you. Think say you don't know what thing you do. So as you just come focus on your business. So that expectation will not go there because the thing say you not come home with anything. But if you be tired with business, you did the abroad, you they see bar, you they see block. Uh -huh. What you go do? Be say you to build a house. Say you want to come stay for Nigeria. Get a, a good engineer. Then not send the money, give your family person. No. Get a real estate, a real estate, those people with into uh, country, uh, all these engineers who they build houses. Get one of them and they give you better guest house plan or a hotel plan. Then look for your family person, like your brother, 
make it be your eye. But not say the money given and the engineer, you're not going to get the contract. But now your brother will be aware of everything, but not being the same money they give. Make they help you build income generating houses. You understand? Don't go build normal person as we want to stay. So the reason why the reason why I don't advise Nigerians where they are brought to send money to their brothers or sisters or their family members is because Nigerians where they here they not get conscious with people where they are brought. Your own brother will shop your money, not send. This thing happened to me myself. 2016, when I did Ghana at that time, so my money when I save my sister come before I come to Nigeria, you know, na story I hear. You know that's so if you are a Nigerian, because then your family where they are, they feel say all those locations which they snap it or which they fresh. They listen now, now you get all those places. They don't know say abroad everywhere fine. You will be seeing you there abroad, a package you get normal. You not go allow anybody to see you finish. Maybe sometimes now, if you are they go work now, you see one place you be say fine. You just want to take picture. You go send at home. You will uh, post that for your social media pages. Then they think they live fine. Like you know they struggle before you they get the money. So if you send your money, give your family member, they go do you take. I say maybe you get a very reliable one. Will be say they trustworthy. Then if you retire of a person, will be say you there abroad and time not really there yourself. Like why not be everybody get time? Maybe you know they advance with age. Uh -huh. Maybe time not there your side. What you go advice me you do? If you get trusted one, will be say they trusted do make it they help you the package some kind of business for the Nigeria, but. Make the person, the person be say they experienced with business, not be say because of saying that your brother or if they talk sensible to not me say you get business experience. There's a between business experience and sense, the person will get sense. So, what you will do for them be say if you're not savvy business experience, if you around for me, they go to these seminars or may go learn trade, then with time you they send some more money they give them, but not say the money given once, they send some more money 500k or 100k, 200k, maybe they establish business for you for Nigeria. Yeah, if you get person will be say they reliable. That one will still help you. Because if you not get that kind of thing from Nigeria, you go come home. That's where they have put all these old boys so they come from Ghana, Malaysia, India. It go happen to you. Why be so these Nigerians where they come by? All those uh, boys will be say, they will stay with it for months. Then you go, yes, say before they go back, they will sell their car. Because as they come home, they carry better money come home. They seek to buy, buy a car for the Nigeria. But they not get stable source of income. So as they come now, they don't shop their money finish. Wait till they, 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 they are left with the car. You know, they feel they meet up with the hotel biz. Some of them are from the hotel there where they lodge. You now they, they take five pesos, they buy their car, they sell and they pay transfer, go back to where they take the also. And not be waiting you, you pray for be that. So wise up, bro. everything that they talk for life. Because many of them are they say maybe you know they consider my age. Say this guy is small boy, they give which guy advice you they give. But me, I don't experience a lot. And I get the belief, say life experience, not me by age. You know that's that. So I uh, mean myself, and they say you don't know, advise people not to buy us. You don't know, advise people not to debut us. Uh, all this uh, head or airtime motivational speaker. I'm not a motivational speaker. I'm a financial advisor, and my advice are to give people based on experience or what I don't see person with the close to me. I don't witness them before. Now they talk. I know they talk because I won't talk. 